To what extent have you gone in a truth or dare game? Hanging out of a window. With only my legs still in the room. In order to touch the outer wall with my forehead. Really drunk and being held by drunk friends. 13 floors high. I once got dared by two women in a bar to follow them out the back entrance for something special. I ain't f king dance. So I ran out the front entrance as far away as possible. Ain't no hussies stealing my kidneys. Nothing too crazy. Kissed a guy friend on the lips so all the girls there, four, would show us their boobs. I was dared to grab a girl's boobs and let her grab mine too. Tried to break dance naked when I was in 4th grade. In grade 6 I was dared to lick a fence in the playground. I almost drowned in my friend's duck pond because they dared me to swim with the ducks. Not me but back in high school my friend took a dare to go in one of those big 55 gallon trash bins. It was empty, and roll across the cafeteria while screaming I gotta take a shti as loud as he could. Girl said grab someone ass at a party. I grabbed hers. That's what I call a pro move. Accidentally ruined a girl's birthday party when her mom came downstairs and found her ass naked. I ate some dirt. A female friend and I chose dare together. Our friends said take off all your clothes and run across a recently frozen pond. We did it but man was that ice cracking. Was dared to kiss a girl. The girl I really liked came to the party. She spun on me. Then she dared me to go home. Edit. I spun on me. I meant the spin the bottle game. They spin and whoever it lands on in the circle. They gotta do truth or dare. Not me but a girl I know has gone to hospital for drinking toilet water for a dare. Don't worry the girl is fine. I miss 4 seconds ago when I didn't know this existed. Rode across a lake naked at night. Edit. Didn't realize this would get this many likes. During the expedition some random campers saw a white thing floating across the lake and shined a flashlight on me. They busted up laughing. I hid at the bottom of the canoe until they turned their light off. Did the mosquitoes dare you? I ate an apple with the sticker still on lol. It was never have I ever so truth but no dare. One of the girls said never have I ever had sx with Sarah. Three of us started to take our drinks. Notice the others. Shrugged and clinked our glasses before taking the drink. Sarah turned a bit red. So did my girlfriend at the time, for a different reason. I don't even know why I bother opening these threads. I'm just reminded of how boring my high school days were. Two extreme opposites that stand out are. Full SX. Roly poly down some stairs. The duality of man. I dared my friend to pull out her tit and lick her nipple in front of like 15 of us. She did. And it wasn't even a quick one. She legit licked her nipple for like 10 seconds. This was at our prom after party like 18 years ago. A girl was dared to kiss me and she cried and stopped playing. Rip confidence about myself, she asked for another. And said I was the ugliest one in all the city. Whisper to yourself but loud enough for people to hear you. After a long night of drinking. Small, five-ish. Comma group of us decided to play truth or dare as the sun was coming up. At some point. I was dared to streak down two city blocks. I did so. In cowboy boots and covered in mustard from an earlier dare. It was cold. I was bad at running due to drinking and smoking cigarettes all night. And I was pretty sure I was going to die. Alas. I lived and ended up with a brutal hangover later that morning. I got dared to sit on a friend's lap and I only took truth questions after that so I wouldn't have to leave his laps we're dating now. So apparently everyone else's truth or dare games consist of s all intercourse. I dare you to fck me okay. WTF kinda teen dramas you're living in? A good friend dared me to kiss a girl I liked on the cheek. She and I have been married 10 years. I jumped over a snowball and broke my nose. 
I have kissed a wall. Did the wall kiss you back? Licked chocolate syrup off another dude's chest. Worth it. Because soon after two of the girls flashed their tits for us. One of the girls was my eye at the time gf. Whose tits I'd seen plenty of times. And yet for some reason I still focused on hers instead of the other girls. Achievement unlocked. Put it inside for 3 minutes without thrusting. The only way I can last 3 minutes. Edit. I guess thanks for all the upvotes and award. We were a group of 8 friends. In a friend's house. 3 males and 5 females. All of us were pretty conservative when it came to nudity and anything else is all. Because all of us were raised in a conservative environment. We decided to play truth or dare. And at some point all of us were in just our underwears. And later completely naked. Made out with a girl. Put my dick in a cantle up in front of girls. Should have microwaved it for warmth first. Okay. Whose melon is next? Not me. But I know a man that won a stealing dare. With the goal to steal the biggest thing possible. One guy stole a fridge full of ice cream and the guy that won stole a forklift and a small aluminum store. They have them in my country and they are near bus stations. This guy effectively stole half of a bus station. Both returned things back the next day. How tf do you steal half a bus stop? I was once dared to dump my gf. I did. The most fun one might be streaking trough a park full of people. Just a casual blowjob in a closet. As opposed to a formal blowjob. Was playing truth or dare with friends freshman year of high school and they dared this girl to give me a handy. I never even kissed a girl before this and it was super awkward for me. Shti was life changing at the time though. I think I have lead the tamest possible life. I had to drink 10 glasses of water on a dare and in truth tell everyone who was the one person I would hate fck. We. A group of good friends of 5 consisting of 3 females and us 2 males, had a game night with classic quiz and card games plus drinks of course. It was a light affair with reasonable alcohol consumption since we are in our mid 20s. Then suddenly my buddy pulled out some vodka and made all of us drink shots in quick fire mode. One of the girls insisted on playing truth and dare. It ended up in us stripping our clothes. Giving lap dances to each other. Ass spanking and some making out. A real passionate night between friends. Our little secret he. Once when I was a teenager I was dared to urinate in the middle of the road. It was the middle of winter and there was about 4 of snow and of course. Of course my bladder decided to be shy. I thought my lady bits would freeze off. But. A dare's a dare. Not all that exciting. But at a big in the woods bonfire drinking party with 30ish people I was dared to strip till I was completely nude. Everyone was standing. So everyone had full view. It takes a bit of liquid courage. NGL. Girl was dared to give me a blowjob. Told we could go do it in a large closet and I told her it was cool. She told me no. She'd set it up. Would have f would me. But was on her period. Dated almost a year before she left for college. Mine isn't bad or dangerous it's just stupid. Doing a game of drunk T or D. I was pissed off my head. Not blackout drunk. Mind you but still pretty f would up. I could remember the previous day but I didn't want to. Normally I'm really good with tongue twisters. My favorite one is I'm not a pheasant plucker. I'm a pheasant plucker's son. I'm only plucking pheasants till the pheasant plucking's done. My friends dared me to do this while I was surfaced and told me I could only stop once I did it all the way through. Boy did they regret it. Two and a half hours of me I'm not a pleasant fucker I'm. I'm not in repeating that over and over. They had enough of me doing it and was yelling at me to stop. Drunk me did not listen. Was in the marines. At a party and was dared to run outside and dance a jig in the middle of a generally suburban street. Wearing a sombrero and naked except for my white socks. Did a little river dance while they completely lost it from the balcony. Ah. Good times. 
I challenge a teacher to a rap battle on a dare and it was amazing. Edit. Yes I won. By a lot. A girl dared me to take my clothes off. So I did. I dared her to take her clothes off. So she did. My friend dared us to kiss which just led to us having sx on the floor of the host's bedroom. Your friend is a great wingman. Went tip to tip with another dude on a trade dare to see two girls scissor. I was about 16-17 yo and totally worth it. Those girls got scammed. Everyone knows scissoring is equal to docking. My deadass thought that it was a good idea to take a dare of streaking across the school football field. Without taking notice of the security cameras. Long story short I got suspended for a week. Got a lap dance from some girl my friend invited to his birthday party. In 6th grade. I played this with some kids I didn't know very well. Naturally I was dared to go home and so I f ked off. Someone once dared me to stab them with a pencil. No hesitation. So I stabbed him with my pencil. No hesitation. Broke skin. But didn't cause much damage. So you ain't John Wick. Ended up giving a blowy in front of our friends. To a one handed guy named Lefty off of a dare. I get overly competitive. Okay. But which hand was he missing? Got dare to kiss this guy. Repeatedly, at a birthday party, he was one of two single guys. I was the only single girl. Ten years later. We're still together and have a 16 month old. Was dared to kiss my best friend. Also a guy. We did. And the crowd went wild. They wanted us to strip each other naked. Jokes on them though. We'd been friends so long I had seen him naked more times than I could count. In the locker rooms and during group sx. Boy that escalated quickly. Some chick dared me to suck some dude's toes and I obliged. Later I had her gagging on mine. Overall it was an alright night. How? Big guy your toes? I was once dared to eat out my best friend in front of the group. I was 17 and she was 18. And I was also dared to suck this guy's dick. He was also 17. I was also dared to stick my dick in a mouse trap but I said no. Some other guy did it though. Did the mouse trap get him? Dared to go into bathroom with hot girl. Most people playing were already partially undressed. For 5 minutes. We did not emerge from bathroom for over an hour. Hum. You guys had Taco Bell too? I got a hand job from a girl. Lost my virginity to my neighbor on a dare. I'd say that's pretty far into crazy territory. Edit. Her name was Tara. And I was so smitten by her. If you must know. I have zero regrets. She grew up to be a beautiful woman and has a loving husband and three children. Life is beautiful. In our early 20s. My friends and I dared a sort of fall guy in our group to sh tea on the balcony of the room we were hanging in and spray painted gold. We had done an art project earlier in the afternoon. He asked for privacy so we closed the drapes. But peeked through watching him pace back and forth. Assessing the situation. And deciding if he was going to follow through. He did it. Guy who owned the house was not happy that in order to dispose of it. The recipient of the day had to transport it on a flattened cardboard box through to the house to the trash outside. Gave my boyfriend a lap dance to Old Town Road in front of my friends. Admitting to my GF at the time that I had previously slept with not one but two of the girls also playing. Before dating her for your information. Kiss my crush or kiss a tree. I lived in a different town but now I go to the same school as her and I'm sure she doesn't know it was me. Anal SX with a really cute and really crazy redhead. No regrets. Bro I need to play truth or dare with your friends. I have to. S. Suli. Had my first gay hookup with a dude in high school by by getting dared to let him suck me off to completion. Which I did. non -nezzle. I got dared to throw a cinder block off a busy interstate overpass which I immediately refused because I don't want to f king kill or seriously injure anyone. 
So that was replaced with shoot a bottle rocket out of your asshole which I did. Luckily it actually shot off instead of staying and burning me. You did a good thing refusing to throw the cinder block. To kiss a co-worker who I fancied. We have been dating about one, one stroke two years now. I dared a girl to make out her choice of two girls. She made the decision and said both. My friend dared me. While I was getting very drunk for the first time. To give one of the guys at the party we were at a blow job. Didn't specify who. Just anyone. That was the night I learned that when I get drunk I take dares extremely serious. Drank four or eggs. And mixed. From a glass. That was some big gulps for a 12 year old girl. Drinking my sister's pee. Bear Grylls has entered the chat. I got my nipples pierced. I also proved that place does not card flirty girls. Blow job. We were playing skeletons in the closet. Not truth or dare. So each of us took a turn getting asked questions from every other player. I got asked what's the most embarrassing question we could ask you. Comma which is a very evil thing to ask in that situation. I replied what's my nickname for my girlfriend. Asterisk. And then the next player asked exactly that. Straight mail. For reference. Got a few here. Had to lick the bottom of my sasquatch of a friend's gross foot after he worked a long day. Did a shot out of another guy's belly button. Got dared to kiss everyone at a party, by the girl I was crushing on at that. Was a pretty mixed group that included just about everyone combination of SX and s duality you can think of. So that was neat. The worst one though? Holding a bare stick of butter for 5 minutes straight. God that was agony. Ended up married. Should've gone with truth. I was the ugly kid so I never got to do any of the fun stuff. Was dared to put friend's nut sock in my mouth. To this day I have never tasted something more revolting. The single. Only time I was invited to play that game I was the only one not drunk. Since I could not drink alcohol at that time due to my medication. Heavy opiates for a broken ankle. I always chose truth. And answered all questions with total honesty. Scaring even the most drunk of my friends. I have nothing to hide and no shame. The only dare was to go to the toilet with an empty beer bottle and bring it back full and with the exterior dry. It took some time with my crutches. But I did. Lifted the lid of the toilet's tank and filled it with water. Dried with TP. Flushed the evidence. They all thought I would pee in it. Because of the previous no shame answers. I got dared to leave. Dare. I got dared to give a dude a wet willy. It didn't end well for me. Truth. Dress as girl. I was at a slumber party and someone dared me to kill this guy who was snoring too loud and well. A dare is a dare. Let a girl kiss me on the cheek. It was a step closer to me realizing I'm Beale Mayo. I made out with a lot of friends because of it lol. Got a nipple piercing. The person that did it was drunk too. It looked crooked af. Nipple never fully recovered. Kids. Don't drink and purse. Same goes for tattoos. The furthest is probably the typical casual hookup in college that resulted from a truth followed by a dare from one of our mutual friends. Great woman. Decent chemistry. Just wasn't the right time for either of us. My mind while reading all the comments. Am I playing it wrong? Am I playing it with the wrong people? Am I in the wrong country? I once made a friend drink his own piss. Just a gulp. He didn't want to go for the whole glass. As revenge I got dares to collect my cum in a jar for two weeks. From SZI dances. To SZI dances. To flashing cocks. Flashing tits. To SZI acts over clothes. To hands on overcloths. To hands on undercloths. To cloths off. To grinding without cloths. To hands on without SX. To oral SX. To lights off to fking. 
we won truth or death that night and I never played again. I jumped out of a 3 story window. It's okay. I only broke one leg. And my friends bet me $200 each that I wouldn't do it. Best $1800 ever. Too bad the hospital bill cost more than that. Shoved my cousin down two flights of stairs. Sort of a truth or dare situation. I was in a bubble bath with a couple girls at a small Christmas party. One of the girls is a best friend and we were trying to talk the other girl into letting me lick her butthole. My friend said. You really should let him. I love it. I'd do it if I were you. And I asked her if she'd be willing to put her money where her mouth is and it happened. The most unbelievable thing I've ever been a part of. I. A massive dork. Licked two good looking girls buttholes in a bubble bath at a Christmas party. Dude. Nice. I think eating ass is gross. But nice. Till to lose virginity play truth or dare with friends of opposite sx. Wait. That's real? People actually do that? I assumed it was just a meme or a joke. In uni. Heavily intoxicated. Ended in a drunken orgy. Tried to drink a vodka shot out of a women's boobs. Funniest memory of truth or dare yet. I once dangled from a 50 foot bridge. I'm my defense I was suffering from a dissociative disorder at the time so nothing felt real. I humped a school bus. Still kicking myself for not saying truth 40 years later. Well someone dared my teenage ass to gay stuff. And I got off. So. Obviously from then on I continued it and yeah. Ended up doing a lot of gay stuff. Apparently my friends were open to experimentation. They just needed an excuse. Dead girl to blow me. When I was 10 I was dared by my school friend to watch hentai. At the time I had no idea what that was and assumed it was just some genre of anime. So when she texted me the link I clicked it and was horrified. I am so freaking thankful that I had my headphones on. I didn't tell my parents and just didn't talk to her for about a week. But I'm also thankful for that because it made me become an otaku. In college. My then gf and I would. When there were people with us. Get so whooper high and play truth. Dare. Strip. We usually got too high to actually pick and let our NGSs pick for us. Getting some lemons and salt from my car couple of 100 meters away. With a torch. Naked. The pebbles sucked and I didn't like the lights on porches. It. My classmate walked up to me and grabbed my ass. She looked me dead in the eyes. And caressed my ass. I don't know if it was a dare or not. But I'm too scared to ask. I was dared to flick my stale cafeteria bread at our principal with a spork. I was mad about it being stale so I did lol this was about 15 years ago. I kissed a man. And I didn't like it. Just answering some questions. Played in a car. Was told to flash the next car that passed us. Turned out to be an old lady driver. Pickle juice. Jalapenos. Mustard crust. And more disgusting fridge leftovers all in a cup. I was dared to down it. In middle school my brother and I were dared to jump down a flight of stairs. It was about 9 or 10 steps and we had seen it done before and thought it wasn't a big deal. I went first and landed pretty hard but nothing serious. When my brother jumped he landed wrong and dislocated his ankle and messed up his arm pretty badly. To this day he can actually pop his ankle in and out of its socket without feeling pain. It looks disgusting and freaks people out though. I cringe when people ask him if he can do any cool party tricks. We went into an abandoned church in Mexico and some demon possessed my friend turning their face into a crappy snapchat filter. The demon said truth or dare and I chose to upload a video to the internet of me passing on the game to anyone who watches it. Exclamation point. This is the plot to truth or dare the movie. Exclamation point. I was 16. We were at Chili's with my friends and was dared to put salt on another girl's apple pie who was at another table outside the restaurant. 
She was our classmates and had a date with another person. I did it. Regretted what I did and apologized. And she was seemingly cool about it but did the same thing with my food when I went to wash my hands. Comma but did the same thing with my food when I went to wash my hands. Bravo.